Welcome buying brand new records. What can be better for a record collector? Well, duh, nothing really. And I've got four brand new records. They all came today. Nice big bundle to show you. It's not gonna take too long as I'm not gonna show you any of the actual discs themselves or too much detail because there's no colored or patterned vinyl here. These are four records that fit perfectly into one of my sub collections, one of my artist collections. Uh, before I get going with showing you, I've got the invoice here. This was a purchase made from the Sound of Vinyl and um, the order total, £133.91. All of these have come out today. That's a lot of money. However, I was able to split the cost with PayPal's own kind of layaway option, Pain3 it's called, and I don't think it's offered on every single website that accepts PayPal, but fortunately on the Sound of Vinyl's website I was able to split the cost of these. So pre-ordered these four albums here, all from the one artist, you'll know who it is with the video title etc. So let's just get going and the first record I'm going to show you is the only one disc album from this Hall of Four. It is Yellow's 1994 album, I believe, Zebra, or if you're in the US, Zebra. So yes, essentially I've got a bundle of Yellow reissues here. Um, if you cast your mind back a few months, they came out with the new Greatest Hits album, 40 Years, and that kind of took me by surprise. I had no idea that Yellow would bring in a Greatest Hits out again. Uh, made sure I bought that as soon as I knew it was out. And then I saw that they were reissuing a lot of their 1990s albums, and I think there might be one or two from the 2000s as well. So they've actually reissued five albums that have all come out today. And um, the one that I didn't buy is 1991's Baby, because you may remember if you've seen previous Yellow unboxing videos, I bought an original 1991 Spanish pressing of that on Discogs, so I didn't need to get another copy of that. But um, all of these, I think, have either never come out on vinyl record, or when they did come out on vinyl, it's just long deleted and silly money on the aftermarket. So uh, this is a one disc album here. As I say, it's just standard black vinyl for all these, so I'm not gonna get these out, I'm not gonna unseal them, unwrap them or anything. I just wanted to show you these four albums that are going into my yellow collection here. Love Yellow, Dieter Meyer, Boris Blank from Switzerland. Really recommend people check them out if you're into sort of avant-garde electronica. So that was Zebra. Right, next one. This is one of three two disc editions. Could probably be a gatefold, mate. It's hard to tell. No, it's a gatefold. Yes, definitely, as I can tell from the top. Pocket Universe. Now then, what year was this originally out? I'm not sure. You'd have thought it would say somewhere. I'll probably flash the original release year up on screen, I think. But Pocket Universe, this is a two disc set, gatefold. Just going to be standard black discs again. That's really all I can say about all of these. I don't really rate the artwork on this. It looks a bit kind of thrown together and a bit cheapo, which is unusual because uh, certainly when you look at something like the Zebra cover, I do really rate Yellow's album artwork a lot of the time, but I just don't like this cover very much for some reason. I suppose there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's just not to my taste. But Pocket Universe by yellow i've not heard any of these albums in full before there'll be a few tracks off some of these that will have made it to the 40 years compilation that i bought earlier this year but never heard any of these albums in full before in my life another one and like i said i don't know if these are in sort of a chronological order i know zebra was from 94 but um, these other three i'm not sure if these are in a proper order here i'm just getting them out and showing you as they come really but this is the eye there again Gatefold sleeve, two discs. I do like the artwork more here, and I think these fake barcodes probably meant to represent something. I don't know, probably a comment on consumerism or something like that. I don't know. Just having a look if I recognise any of the tracks. Planet Dada, I've heard that. That's on the 40 Years compilation, I'm sure it is. 
And there's a track on LP1 side B called Hipster's Delay. Yeah, there we are. The Eye. Yeah, going through these quite quickly because I can't really show you an awful lot, really. I'm sure there's some brilliant artwork in the middle, probably some band shots and other interesting things, but um, this video is going to go on and on if I just sort of am standing around unwrapping things. And, you know, when I listen to a brand new album, I do like to unseal it sort of right before I listen to it, and that's part of it, really, just getting it open and opening it myself the first time as I put it on the record player. Anyway... Finally, we have motion picture. So this will be like their sort of fake movie soundtrack. This isn't a soundtrack for a movie. Maybe some of the songs on here did end up on films. I honestly couldn't say. Looking at the track listing on the back to see if I've heard anything on here. Possibly, but I couldn't say for sure. Looking for another release date, but all the release dates here are just listed as 2021, given that these are reissues. So there we are. That's all there is to it for Yellow albums. So really happy that Yellow decided to re-release these albums on vinyl record because it's really sort of beefed my Yellow collection up now. And I think there's only one Yellow studio album now that I need to complete the collection, Touch Yellow. And in a way, I'm not sure why that wasn't reissued. I think that came out around 2009, something like that originally. I'm not sure why they've decided to reissue these five from sort of 1991 onwards, but they didn't bother reissuing Touch Yellow. They probably have some reason for that. It just seems weird that all these are getting a re-release apart from that one. But anyway, never mind. I'm still delighted with the sound of vinyl. I've got these on the day that they've come out as well. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at some essential additions to the Yellow LP collection. Special thanks go, as they always do, to my subscribers and patrons. And of course, you can see my Patreon link and my Facebook group link down in the description below. I'm going to go now and probably not look at this invoice too long because it reminds me how much four records, brand new, can cost all in one go. But like I say, the cost is split out over three months with PayPal paying three. But I'm definitely going to go and listen to probably Zebra first, and then I'll try and work through these chronologically and get some more yellow into the collection. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next music and record collecting video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!